a celebration of the greatness of Michael Jordan in that effort and commitment. Jordan, first shot of the second half goes. 11 for Michael Jordan as he hustles. We, I didn't time it. The, the guys in the truck maybe did. I would say the ovation at the beginning of the game lasted at least four minutes as he hit his first shot of the third. Amazing what Derek Holman has done the last two months. Jordan drains it over <laughs> Eric Snow. <laughs> He's got it going. And his thing as he first hit his baseline jumper and then that one from the wing over Snow. But Allen, Allen Iverson with the answer. And came back on the other end with a crossover and the jumper on the baseline to have the answer. And then Eric Coleman. And here come the Sixers. Iverson again behind the back, this time McKee. Philly looks terrific. And Doug Collins says, we got to call a timeout. Break. Iverson sneaks one to McKee on the three-on-one. It's 67-50, Philadelphia. And we can't wait until everybody's home with their families. And uh, thank you for being there for us. Steal by Iverson behind the back again. It's getting to the old hat. McKee is living off Iverson's assist right now. Iverson has done this so many times. The block, tremendous defensive player, Allen Iverson. But in transition, you would think that Washington might start anticipating he's going to throw that behind the back pass. And then four points is what he has right now. But it's also great to see the class and dignity that we're witnessing from Michael Jordan. It would have to be an embarrassing moment. His team's getting just blasted. Here. He and Iverson, I wonder if it's behind the back. <laughs> nope, he'll do it himself with the foul by Van Horn. Crowd up for the 76ers. They're putting a licking on the Wizards right now. And Iverson with Van Horn's follow. It is 89 to 64 at the end of three. Beds, Eastern Conference standings. That's how they look right now as Iverson steps to the free throw line for his 30th point. New Orleans playing terrific ball at this point. The crowd chanting and one louder. <laughs> 21,257, the second largest ever in this building and the largest crowd of the year. Check our Sprite Mad Skills. How about back to 1986? How mad was this playoff game? 63. That shot over Larry Bird. Then Danny Ainge couldn't handle him in the paint. Whoa! There's Bill Walton. Throw it in, Michael. Throw it in over him. Play some defense. Bill, play some defense. Block a shot. Block a shot. Do something. Don't wait at the basket area. What Don't were you wait. thinking here? Was he thinking at all? <laughs> well, he scored on the best of them. But disgusted side by he said you can't teach if people don't want to learn, basically. In, in a nutshell, is what he was yep, talking about. Yep. You know, and one more thing. I just looked at Michael Jordan with all the people chanting at him, and I kind of thumb I gave a thumb toward the court, and he shook his head in the universal sign. Team down, the fans, a lot of them. Oh, they called the foul. And he's going to get the bounce pass from the retiring Tommy Nunez, the referee. Let's check in with David. You know, guys, when Mickey Mantle hit his final home run, there's always been some question about whether he knew the pitch was coming. <laughs> I think Michael Jordan knew that foul was coming. Eric Snow was awfully quick to come over there and foul him. Doug Collins was the guy I really think that that uh, convinced Michael to go in. And now Doug Collins is telling them to take a foul so that he can... There's the end of a legendary career.
Michael, it's been an honor to call your games and a privilege to watch you play. Thank you, Michael Jordan. The final point of a 32,000 plus point career came from the free throw line. There was nothing free in his career. He worked to become a six time NBA champion. The MVP in all those championship seasons. All six of them. that after all the great memories, all the adulation, he almost seems embarrassed by what the crowd is giving him in Philadelphia. He would just as soon not have any of this. So Michael Jordan's 15 brilliant seasons is a 15-point night as he says goodbye to the NBA at age 40. And somebody better go get that ball. Eric Snow's got a pretty good handle on it. He's handing it to Derek Stafford right now as you speak. Larry Brown, who said, I hope he scores 100 and we win. Michael didn't score 100, but the Sixers did win. And obviously it's a mob scene, and there's one of the young guys that Michael Jordan hopes will carry on and help carry the league on. Allen Iverson, the Tracy McGrady's, the Kevin Garnett's, the Webbers and the Kobe Bryant's. The guys that will be stars, but will there ever be one to shine as bright as that guy? And now they play the famous song. I'm not sure they'll ever really be somebody that could be like Mike. And nobody has left the building. Everybody on their feet as he heads through a tunnel of admirers into a losing locker room, something he had hoped wouldn't happen, but he's got that ball that Bill was talking about. <laughs> Let's check in with Michelle. All right, standing by with Allen Iverson. First of all, you got home court advantage for the first round, but maybe more than that, what did this win do for your team's psyche? It did a lot. You know, we dropped three games in a row. You know, our confidence was down a little bit. Um, the effort in those games were um, suspect um, in uh, most parts of the game. And we just wanted to come out here and just give a good effort and fight real hard and whatever happened, happened. You said before the game it was going to be an honor to play against Michael Jordan in his final NBA game. Tell me what you'll remember most about tonight. You know, just the atmosphere, you know, and how the people uh, embraced him and, you know, how they sent him away from the game. It was just special, you know, something I was just glad to be a part of. I feel like it's a tribute, you know, to my family and friends, all the coaches and teammates that I've had, ever had to help me get to the point and be able to be a part of something like this. And it's just an honor. You know, Michael Jordan meant everything to me. He gave me a vision. He made me want to play the game. So it's even more special. Going into the playoffs, how are you feeling health-wise? How do you think this team is coming together? I feel good. You know, um, my knee is not 100%. But I don't have time to worry about that now. You know, I, I have a mission that um, myself and my team, um, you know, have to complete. And, you know, whether I'm beat up or not, you know, it's not going to matter because the guys that I'm playing against is not going to care anything about it. So it's just time to go to war. And I just want all the guys in the foxhole with me ready to fight. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you in the playoffs, Alan. All right.